in those small greens, right? So when you're coming down sometimes, like that one there, a couple of those actually look like you're ready to go. And some really nice ones you just turned in a barrel, so to speak, and kept the connection here of your arms like this. And then a couple of these just now look perfectly over here. And then you slid the knees this way, yeah. and you couldn't come around this way mm. smoothly, right? So then it becomes that. Man, that sounded good there, huh? Crunchy. Let's talk about this, huh? Let's get this lined up, you know, let's get this stuff going with the left arm and the shaft, okay? So you got this stick on the, you know, your club on the ground. Let's go ahead and set up to the ball there. Cool. So I was saying before, on your outside end move, your left arm was going out that way a little bit, but not a lot. Go ahead and just take it back slowly there. Your left arm, you know, because that black band was on there, you could see it pretty clearly. It was pretty nice. It was going along here, but the club head was starting to go up above oh, your okay. mask and your yeah, head out yeah. here, right? And so what I like to see is, like, your hands are set at a certain distance from the ground right mm -hmm. here. When they get over to P2 or when this shaft gets lined up and left arm gets lined up over here, you don't want to see a bunch of lift. I'll give you an inch, mm -hmm. okay? But you want to feel like it the shaft and left arm line up with each other a little mm. bit more. Okay. This. Well, that that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, parallel to it for sure. And not have, some, not have, well, not have some torquing out here. Right. So go ahead there. I'm going to regulate a little bit of this, but you're pretty good at changing stuff right away. See, this aren't, these hands shouldn't be that high yet. Mm -hmm. Got me? Mm -hmm. Okay, start again. So you got to put a reference in for yourself. You're about right here. Yeah. Go ahead. Be there. Yeah. There. Well, you can, you know, there should be a little bit of hip and knee work going as you start that back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll start the lawnmower or speed skater. Mm-hmm. That's good there. There you go. There's a nice, beautiful, neutral path right there. Yes, sir. Give it a run. And then come through, fall into third base still. Yeah. Staying bent over and going, right? Mm-hmm. That's it. So you're much more connected on that left arm to your body now. Pressure point over there is good. That's it. Yeah. And then keep winding now. Boop, 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 boop. Makes me think of the uh, glove under the, the arm. Glove cover, yeah. yeah, the Morikawa thing I did. Uh, I didn't do it with you, but whatever. I made a video of it. Oh, yeah. Call him Morikawa. Nice, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah so he. It's a classic. Yeah. He did it in the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, PGA one? Nice. Over in, or in, the, the last hole, the last shot. Him and his caddy were talking. He had a nine iron in his hand. Okay, and his caddy is talking to him. They're throwing up grass in the wind and stuff. Yeah. And all, I'm watching TV, you know, and I'm all of a sudden in the corner of my eye because I got the computer going too. And I said, did he just do, what he did was he's talking to the guy and he just took his shirt yeah, and went like that. Yeah, and he yeah, wasn't yeah. even, you know, conscious of it. It was yeah, yeah, subconscious. Yeah, he does do that, yeah. So the, obviously put that in his coach and he as a uh, nice. connected feel. Another one that's really good. That huh. I, I was watching at Pebble Beach years ago. Sorry, yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, AT&T. Mike Ware on the practice screen. He actually he actually put a hanger, uh, a coat hanger, on his two arms this day. Huh. Back, and he's a lefty. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was beautiful. I mean, and then he took it off, and you couldn't even tell. It was just beautiful. Yeah, but, cool. Okay, so <coughs> connected, lower, like right there, with the hip. Mm-hmm. The arms come back. All right, now go higher up. Higher up. Let's let one, let's hit one here. Suspense is killing me. We're doing good. What's going on up there? You going up top? Okay. All right. So. <clears throat> yeah. Very good. Just feels more connected there, like you're saying, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to think in my mind to keep my hands 
well. I think. Well, I, I think it's maybe the glove under the left underarm or some sort of pressure point there, right? Yeah, I don't know. They used to be uh, club covers. Okay. We'll stand right over here. Yeah. Let's see. Get you right that angle there, yeah. So I'm just trying to feel like what a I'm doing one arm, right? I'm just trying to go, well, I, I, we were going outside in, you kind of lift it, and then we're coming across a little bit, or you go over here and kind of roar it and, and tuck her in and do okay. But sometimes you go out here like this, and then you start to slot it, not do enough, and we come down on the heel there, right? So this, just neutralizing it a little bit is left arm and shaft uh, in this first section right here is what you're trying to feel. Uh, it should be done with rotation, not just arms. So you said, hey, I just feel like I'm using my arms. And that's when we lawnmower or speed skater kind of lawnmower pull. And so once you're here, I'm looking down here now and I go, well, I'm not lifting my arms. I'm not going like this, yeah. my hands, I mean. So from here, bang, you just put it right over here. And then you turn a little bit more and you got it pointed on the plane. And then you're connected with both really here and here. Yeah. And from there, you can do your thing like go across this club here. Very nice there. Huh? You can feel that, right? Yeah. You ever, you ever hit some balls just feeling the connection of, of both? Uh, I don't think I've ever thought about that. Yeah. Really. Well, for me, uh, you know, so there's different things you can put in, like head covers, like you said, right? Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, uh, towel, tiny mm -hmm. towel. Yeah. Or I see some guys use the full towel, yeah. and they'll put it across the chest. Yeah, yeah. So you got both flapping yeah. out, right? Like yeah. that. That's really good homework yeah. when you come out to the range and just do some ten minutes of that. Okay. You know, okay. Um, I use sometimes like a penny, yeah. which is like way different because yeah. when you think you have a penny up in there, yeah. that's a different feeling yeah. than having something pressured down kind of here. Right. You know, and I like that one because I can really sense that in the backswing yeah. more. So. Yeah, my son that I'm hoping takes some lessons with you. That's what his. Five years ago, four years ago, that's what his, he had him put his towel across, and my son was very diligent about it. He goes, "Oh, range, cool!" Doesn't he do that? Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't know that was an issue with me. I always thought that was for people that come disconnected, and I guess that's what I'm doing out here. Uh, definitely doing that, yeah. and uh, when you have like both, yeah. you're just neutral both both sides. Yeah. You know, so if you're connected with both ways, it's just like you just from the back view, you can just see I'm I'm here, mm -hmm. there, nothing's moving, right. and if I keep my head over the ground or balance of my fold over the ground, then I'm just going to, yeah. uh, you know, be swinging a circle. It's driving me nuts because... Nicely done. Yeah, that was ridiculously smooth. I'm emulating you. <laughs> All right. Well, it's good that I can at least show a smooth model like that. And think to myself, uh, the little Mill Valley Club, mm -hmm. where I get my NCGA card. Uh -huh. They had a little three, three club tournament a couple weekends. I couldn't do it because of kid conflicts. But uh, I often think to myself, I should just play a whole round with half swing. And that's uh, hitting those small greens, right? So when you're coming down, sometimes like that one there, a couple of those actually look like you're ready to go, and some really nice ones you just turned in a barrel so to speak and kept the connection here of your arms like this and then a couple of these just now look perfectly yeah. over here and then you slid the knees this way yeah. and you couldn't come around this way mm. smoothly right so then it becomes that and so con connection is like the shirt's pretty good because it's got the stripes right. you can see clearly and you just want to keep feeling like your your shoulders are just spinning in a circle yeah and you're connected. A, uh, door with a turn exactly. Revolving door, just yeah. kind of moving the arms around. So you think my hips kind of freeze sometimes? Uh, sometimes they slide a little bit on the downswing, and you, you know. Like that one was great. So that one I could see this hip, yeah. this whole leg just go boop. Okay. And this just, you know, even when I do this, yeah. I mean, I don't hit a lot of balls, but when I do something like this, I feel like a I got my, my feeling of a golfer, Yeah. you know, this feels good, you know, so just this kind of, it's probably from my baseball days of, yeah. you know, stepping in, throwing and going, right? Yeah. Hey, don't think it's all right.
Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Gormanator here. I just want to let you know that I'm doing live Zoom lessons. The next best thing to an in-person lesson, nice. a live Zoom. So you want to kick that slice to the curb, hop in, and let's get going. I've got my launch monitor and the tools I need. If you're at the office, work, wherever, we can get it done. Click the link down below, hit the page. It'll tell you all about the lesson and how it works. You'll be excited to get it done because I'll take care of you. See you guys on the next video.